I'm going to share with you how you can copy some of the most successful traders on Zignally. I'm going to share with you step by step how you can set up your account and copy these traders. As you can see, some of the most successful traders on here have earned up to 785% return over the course of a year or less. So 2021-05 to 2022-06. So first step is you need to come to Zignally.com and I will leave a link in the description for this website. It is my referral code. So if you do sign up and deposit $100, you'll get 20 $20 for free. So that's just a heads up. So if you do sign up, you want to come to this website here. Once you're on the website, click sign up. You need to put in a name, email address, password, and re repeat the password that you just chosen. It's really simple and straightforward. So this is just how you do it. You just put in the information like I've just done here and click on register. Once your account is registered, it will actually verify your email address. So you'll just get a sent an email with a verification code. You can also hit resend code if you don't have it yet. So this is what it will look like in your email address. So you just need to take this code, copy it. You can also type it in if you wish, go back and just paste the code into here. And then your account is verified and ready to go. Now you can save the password if you want, or you can close it if you like. So once you have verified your account and set up your account, you should be on this page right now on Zignally. Like I mentioned, I'll leave a link in the description if you aren't on this page yet. So the next step is now you need to go click on the little icon on the top right and click on my account. So what you need to do now is create an exchange. Now you might already have this one set up right here, you need to link an exchange. So create an exchange account. You already have Binance set up right here. Now you don't need to have a Binance account. You can be on any exchange and send cryptocurrency to your own exchange account on here. But this is linked with Binance. So what you can do is create an account, click on spot. I'll just call it B and click on save. And I'll share with you how you can remove account as well. So if you go on settings on the same page, click on settings and click on delete exchange and just click on confirm. So they automatically have one set up ready for you. So once you do have an account right here, you won't have any um, information like I have right here, but you have an account just like this right here. And what you would do is you'll click on deposit. As you can see, I already had a deposit on my account, but you can deposit more cryptocurrency as well. So as you can see, you can buy a credit card as well, but I'll share with another video if there is demand for this, how to do this. But for simple terms, I'm going to do it with an exchange. So you can be signed up on any exchange. And as long as it has one of these cryptocurrencies on there, you can send it directly to this account right here. So I'm going to use BUSD to do this. So BUSD. And what I'm going to do is go to Binance, which is an exchange that I'm using for this video, but I have all the recommended exchanges that you can use in the description below. And all of them have BUSD or BNB. Either one of those will work just fine. So once you're on an exchange, make sure you've verified your account, make sure you're able to send cryptocurrencies. But what you will do now, once you have verified your account, click on buy cryptocurrencies. I'm going to click on buy with credit card or debit card. I'm going to send $20 the amount and I'm going to buy BUSD like I just said to you. And then what I'm going to do is type in the amount once again. It'll show me how much USD I will get. So that's the USD value, but I'm paying with AUD just so you don't get confused. Click on continue. Now, if you don't have a credit card or debit card already added here, it would make ask you to add your card right here. Click on continue. And then I'm just going to put in my information to get this sent. Then I confirm it. Then confirm the trade. Once I have confirmed the trade, it will just ask me to do go to my wallet. So as you can see, my BUSD has been complete and it's in my wallet. Now I'm going to share with you how you can go into your wallet directly on the exchange. So if you click on wallet right here, click on fit and spot, then once you have gone to your wallet right here, you will notice your BUSD should be right here at the top. If you can't see it at the top, just type it in right on here in this little search tab. So BUSD and right there, as you can see, I have my BUSD. It shows you my value in Australian dollars. So click on withdraw. Now, once you have gone to this page right here, you need to go grab the address that was on this page right here. So we're going to be doing BEP20 on Smart Chain, so BNB Smart Chain. So just click on that. So make sure you send it to the correct network. So if I go back to my wallet right here and I take this address right here and it's on the BEP20 network as I showed you, and I'm going to put the address right in here. Now with the network right here, as you can see the network, it's asking me which network, BEP20, BNB Smart Chain. Yes, I'm sure. I have double checked this, go back again. Again, as you can see, BEP20, BEP20. Now you could also send like a dollar or 50 cents or a couple of cents just to make sure it is the correct network. This is what I recommend for you to do on anything. But because I've already done this, I'm gonna just click max. I'm just gonna send all of them. Click on withdraw, confirm the withdrawal, continue. Now I just have to do the security process. That is completely normal. So as you can see, I've just now put the security information in and I just click on submit and the successful withdrawal has been submitted.
So if you click on complete, you can see that there's a waiting withdrawal processing right now, as you can see to this wallet, and it's gonna be from my withdrawal wallet. So that's how simple it is to withdraw from an exchange. Now the process is the same on most exchanges. It's similar, but not always exactly the same. So once the trade has been completed, you will notice on the bottom right here, you will see the trade and the time and the date that it's been deposited. So as you can see, the 1647 cents has been deposited and it's in my account right now. So the next step is if you wanted to withdraw it as well, I'll show you how you can withdraw it back to the exchange. So how you would do this, I'll just go back again and do this. Click on my account and you would just click on withdraw. Now you want to withdraw BUSD. So you just type in BUSD, whatever cryptocurrency you want to withdraw, you just type it in the one that you just deposited. Now you click on, you can click on either one of these again, but I'm going to click on Binance Smart Chain once again. Now I go back to the exchange, go back to my wallet, click on fiat and wallet, fiat and spot, click on search a coin. So BUSD. So as you can see right here, BUSD. Now I just want to click on deposit because I'm withdrawing from the other side and depositing onto back to the exchange. So the network. So the network is going to be BEP20. Once again, the same network that I chose before. I take this address right here, click it and copy it. Go back to the marketplace here. Make sure I'm on the BEP20 network. Click on paste the address that I just copied. You can test it once again. Make sure it sends. So send like a dollar. Make sure it deposits into your Binance account. Then once it has, send the full amount. So just click on 7E and then click on withdraw. But I don't want to withdraw it, but that's just how you can do it. It's really easy. You can do this with any cryptocurrency on this network, whatever one you have. So I'm going to exit this now. Now the next step is once you have got the BNB, BUSD, now you just want to go to click on dashboard, which is at the top left. Click on dashboard and just click on balance. Now once you're on balance, you want to click on coins. Now whichever coin you deposited, you now want to convert it. So as you can see, the BNB, I want to convert that. The BUSD, convert that. Click on that. Now I want to convert that into USDT. So this one right here, USDT. And click on the max amount or type in the max amount, whatever you like to do. Click on convert. Now it will convert to Tether USD, which is what you'll need to be able to invest in the traders that will trade for you. So this is how you can actually now invest in the traders that have got the return that I just shared with you earlier on. So as you can see right here, once you have got your USDT, next step is to go to profit sharing. So click on the tab right here on the left, click on profit sharing. Now I'll share with you all the successful traders, all the successful traders that have been vertified with Zignola. You can see all their positions and how long they've been been doing this for. So just click on trader, view trader. And then what you would do is click on copy this trader. Then you would type in the amount that you wish to invest. So let's say I want to invest the full amount. I'll just type in the 0.82 cents. So 55.82 cents and click on reinvest or withdraw. So I want to keep keeping reinvesting it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to click on next and then I just click on confirm. I understand. And then just click on type in transfer and then click on transfer. You can also see analytics of the trades that have happened in the last seven days or you can go up to 60 days or yearly. It doesn't really matter. You can see your balance. You can see the positions that you have. You have connected traders, one trader I am copying and you can see how much your return as well, how much return you have got at the bottom and how much you allocated to the trader. Now, if you wanted to cancel it and remove it, you can go back to the profit sharing tab right again, click on view trader and stop copying trader. Click on that and then you have your money back in your USDT right back into your account. Now, if you do have any questions at all, feel free to let me know in the description below. If you did enjoy the video, please hit the like button. And if you do want to sign up, I'll leave a link in the description as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.